It is a glorious day when your package has been delivered in the mail. Am I right or am I right? I've been waiting on this order, so I'm super excited to open it with you guys. So let's go see what we've got. Do, 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 do. Phew, it is so hot today. new rash guard oh yeah there is nothing like a brand new beautiful rash guard i cannot wait to wear this in training tonight if you guys haven't caught on by now i am a huge coffee drinker i pretty much have a coffee in my hand every video that i film so this rash guard is absolutely perfect and it's got their logo on the back, which is pretty cool too. The material feels really good. It feels nice and thick. And then it also has the band on the bottom, like the grip band so that it doesn't ride up. To be honest, I didn't always like the grip band on the bottom, but I have a couple of rash guards now that have it and I'm kind of digging it. So I think it's time we go break it in. Guys, it is unbelievably hot here in New York right now. I feel like this heat just came out of nowhere. Like it's been warm, but I feel like yesterday it was just the winter time and now it's like 95 degrees. And I can't film with the AC on up here because then all you would hear is the air conditioner and no one wants to listen to a video like that. So I think I'm gonna have to take sweat breaks. <laughs> but this is good because this is kind of an example that can be used in today's video, which is talking about motivation motivation and how you stay motivated to train every day or however many times a week you train and how to stay on the jujitsu path. All right, so let's chat. Motivation is a topic I think that everybody has concerns over and questions about because motivation is it's really hard. And to succeed in jujitsu, to get better in jujitsu, you need to stick with it. And you especially need to stick with it during the times where you do not want to. So let's chat about how to stay motivated in jujitsu. First things first, let's differentiate between motivation and discipline. The thing with motivation is that it's not always going to be there. Motivation is fleeting. One day you can be super motivated, the next day you're not. You can wake up at 6 a.m. on a Monday and be super motivated to crush the week, to get all your goals accomplished, to be super successful every day, and then by Wednesday you're burnt out, you're exhausted, you realize that you're only halfway through the week, and you no longer have motivation. So how does anyone possibly succeed and be good at anything if this motivation thing comes and goes. That's where discipline comes in. Discipline is what's going to get you into the gym when you do not want to. Discipline is what's going to get you to step on those mats when you would rather just roll right into bed. So like I said, motivation comes and goes and discipline takes work. Discipline takes time to build up. Motivation comes from different internal and external factors. For example, if you competed and you made it to the top of the podium, you took home the gold medal and now you're so motivated to get back in the gym, to sign up for your 
your next competition to win and you're just super motivated to work hard to bring home that next gold medal. Or maybe you lost in competition, maybe you didn't make it to the podium, maybe you only took third place and even though you're bummed out, you are motivated to fix the mistakes that you made in competition, you're motivated to get back to the gym the next day and start training to work towards that next competition to do better. Or maybe you got your first stripe on your white belt or your third stripe on your blue belt and you are motivated to keep coming to class because you got this thing that you can see, that you can touch, and that is what is making you excited to get back to the gym, to keep working, and to keep bettering yourself. That is motivation. Those things are not always gonna be there. With your stripes, for example, you may go a year or two without getting a strike. What are you gonna do then? Maybe you keep losing in competition and you haven't brought home a gold medal in a long time. What are you gonna do then? This is where your discipline will come into play and where your discipline to keep training on the mats will build up. So what does discipline look like? Discipline is getting to the gym after that long day at work, after the long day with your kids and you are exhausted. All you wanna do is sit in front of the TV with a bag of chips and just relax for the rest of the night. Discipline is getting in your car at 6 p.m. and heading to the gym no matter how tired you are from your day. Discipline is when you have a really busy day ahead of you and the only class time that is going to work for your schedule is 6 a.m. So you wake up at 5 so you can get to class on time and get your training in before the rest of your busy day. That is discipline. Discipline is not just giving up your training, giving up going to class at the slightest inconvenience. There's a ton of excuses that I can make to not go to class. This 95 degree heat, I could easily just stay in the pool all evening. I could order food and binge watch YouTube videos in bed. There's a lot of things that I could do instead of going to jujitsu. There's a lot of things that I could do that I know won't challenge me that probably wouldn't be the best thing for me, but I am disciplined to my jujitsu, so I'm gonna go to class. <laughs> now, there are some things that you can do to get motivated, to stay disciplined, to get in the gym, especially if you maybe took a long break from jujitsu, if you're a beginner and you're still kind of making your schedule and working up that discipline to get in the gym multiple times a week. Whatever the situation is, I have a couple tips for you to help you build up your discipline and other things that can help motivate you to get in the gym when it's not so easy. Tip number one, set your schedule. Look at your calendar, take a look at what you've got going on all week, and plan ahead what classes you're gonna take. Hold yourself accountable. If you have it scheduled on your calendar that on Tuesday at 7 p.m. you're gonna take the Nogi class, and then Tuesday comes around and it's four o'clock, it's kind of like that midday slump, you're getting tired, you wanna take a nap, you wanna go home and just sit in front of the TV, look at your calendar and remind yourself that you told yourself you were gonna get to class. You told yourself that you were gonna train. Get up and go do it. If you feel like you can't hold yourself accountable, then have someone else do it. Maybe your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, a teammate that does jujitsu with you, someone that you feel like can push you and hold you accountable to get that training in. That is so helpful. Tip number two, track your progress. Look, there's going to be periods, especially when you start training jujitsu for a long time, or maybe you already have, there are going to be periods where things just kind of seem dull. That is exactly what the blue belt blues are. Say that 10 times fast. Training might not seem as exciting as when you first started. None of the moves you're trying seem to be working. You keep doing the same techniques in your roles all the time. Just your training seems kind of flat. It happens, and the important thing is to stick with it because it won't last forever. But what you can do to kind of help build yourself up from that is to track your progress. This goes back to again what I've said a couple times now by keeping a jujitsu journal so that you can see every single time that you've improved. If you're keeping notes, what happened in between each stripe, when you got your stripes, when you've got new submissions, when you've successfully done new techniques in a roll, keep track of that progress because when you go through those 
those periods of kind of dull training, if you can look back at that journal and see all the different times that you've been successful, that you have progressed, that can motivate you. That can kind of reignite that spark and get you going. And I think just kind of reassure you that that lull in your training won't last forever and you will have more exciting times in your training in the future. Tip number three, reward yourself. Look, there have been days where I really have not wanted to train, days where I really did not wanna to go to the gym, I didn't wanna lift, I just had zero motivation and oh, man, it was just really hard to get there. It's not a terrible thing to reward yourself just for going. Some days you just need to survive. Some days you just need to get your butt there, train, and then get home. And it may have not been the best day of training, but you still went and you're still a tiny bit better than you were the day before. One time, I did not want to go to the gym. This is when I was working in the city and I had to get a workout in before I commuted into the city and I did not want to go. So literally the only thing that got me to the gym was knowing that on my way home, I would drive past an acai place and I can get an acai bowl after I went to the gym. And I mean, it worked. I went and I got my workout in, I got an acai bowl and it was a great day. Now, if you're rewarding yourself every time you go to train, then we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you took some time off from training and you're just getting back into the swing of things and you made it a goal for yourself to do five days of training in a row, Monday through Friday, and you successfully completed your goal, reward yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Buy yourself a new rash guard. Go to xmarshall.com, use my coupon code Kimberly Kinge for 10% off a rash guard. I mean, it's definitely an option and it's a win-win situation. You completed your full week of training, you're getting a rash guard and you're getting a discount on it. Who's got it better than you? So, you know, jujitsu is not easy. This journey is a long one. It's a tough one. Jujitsu is going to push you, test you physically, mentally, emotionally, and it can be a very up and down journey. And if you're having a hard time getting motivated to get into the gym, if you feel like your discipline is lacking, try to remember why you started in the first place try to remember why you love training jujitsu and try out these tips. They might help you get back to it and they might help you keep going back to the gym every single day. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to buy yourself some new jujitsu gear, go to xmarshall.com. Again, use my code Kimberly Kinch for 10% off. I will link that code in the description box below. And until the next video, I will see you guys next time.